and we're back with another vlog slash reselling update i was thinking today i was like i may as well just vlog like what i might do like after work and also like update with like the reselling stuff because i don't want to always like have this channel like mainly being reselling i want to try and like venture out into like different things but it's quite hard so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I sold today. Um, I think I sold something on eBay and Vinted as well. I did have the PlayStation sold actually, the PS4 bundle. That did sell yesterday. But the guy made a brand new account yesterday. He's from Brazil and I was like, I sent like the payment confirmation and he was like, oh, can you give me time to make payment? I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give you like one day because I was like, a brand new account. I was like, I'm not going to give him a week because he's, he's definitely not going to pay. Gave him till today and he was like, sorry, I can't make the payment. So I had to cancel it and relist it. And since relisting it, I've actually had an offer coming, but I didn't accept it because I was like, I think it'll sell for what I've put it up for. So I'm just going to leave it and I'll probably accept an offer if like it stays up for quite a long time, but I'm not really in a rush to to be getting lots of sales. It's not like my full time job, so I'm not relying on like that money just now. What I'll do is I'll show you what's sold today. So let's go through it. So yeah, up first is this Slazinger tennis slash badminton racket. I'm actually not sure what it is, but I'll show you what it is. Oh, oh, but yeah, that's what it looks like. I picked this up in a, a charity shop um, probably like three, three months ago I probably picked this up for like five pound and it's only sold for a tenner on vintage but I was like I've doubled my profit I just want to get rid of it so that was all right and then we have a, a pair of Levi jeans that I picked up um, on vintage for about three quid I think it was but they eventually sold for 12.99 I think I sent an offer for because once again I'm just trying to get rid of these uh, Levi jeans. I don't really want to sell them anymore just because they're not the best seller unless you've got certain types of jeans but I think the other jeans that I'm getting uh, they're a better like market to go into at the moment so yeah so at the moment it's only that tennis racket and the jeans that are sold so probably about 20 quid so far today which is all right better than <coughs> It's better than going days when you're not getting anything. So when the sales come in, it's always nice. But yeah, so if anything else comes in today, uh, I probably will pick up the camera and I'll go through it. But I'm trying to think if there's something that's sold already. I'm trying to think. If there's anything else that's sold, I'll probably just like pop up on the screen like from the other days. Because I really can't think of something sold and I've just not recorded it. But what will happen is after work, I'll see what's going to happen. So if there's more content after this, then it's a lucky for you. <laughs> back from our little day trip that we had um in south queensbury we went to the, the little bakery cafe we've been there uh once before and it was really nice and it was really nice again because you'll see the videos that i've put in try to take some videos just to show you but we also parked opposite like a charity shop in south queensbury i think it's called bernardo's or something and they had the bargains like walked out of there look at that i'll try and turn it Pure two bags full. Got the Sergey. Don't know if they'll be worth it, but there was a suit um, that Jim Lee found for ten quid, and I was looking up at the search, like search them up on eBay because it was like new with tags, and it's going for like two two hundred eighty seven pound. One of them sold for. I was like, oh my god, that's a pure bargain, and that was only a tenner as well. But I'll go through them just now um, and just see what they're like. 
So I'll just quickly go through um, what I picked up. So I bought these two uh, Meerkat dolls. I just thought they looked a bit funny. One of them was £3, funnily enough, and the other one was £2. So don't know why they weren't both just £2. But £5, no idea how much that these will go for, but I thought I'd just pick them up. Next up was a, a nice little thing. That was a Land Rover t-shirt. I have seen people sell, pick these up before and I got it for £4. Definitely get more than £4 for it. Not exactly sure how much, but I reckon I will definitely get 15 quid. So anything over £15 is a bonus. Then next up was this uh, French brand. Next up was this brand. I'm not really sure that it says like Pierre Candine. I probably butchered that saying. But that was a £6.50. I thought that was £4.50. I don't know if someone picked that up, but oh well. I mean, it's not the best looking t shirt, but I just, I've seen it had that like nice tag on it. It's maybe Paris. But I have no idea. We'll soon find out. So, this charity shop, they did have loads of games. I did want to get like a recording of them, but. So, yeah, next up is the, the games that I got. They did have a lot of them on the wall. I, I would say there was literally like 30 to 40 games there. All different like PS2, Xbox, Wii. They actually had a massive Wii collection. There was literally like 40, like lit so many Wii games by themselves. Couldn't even tell which ones were the good ones because South Queen City get no signal. But these were the ones I picked up because if I find another Guitar Hero, I'll either bundle it with whichever one it goes for, like it's for the PS2 or the Xbox 360 because they're the ones that I pick up most. So that's why I got these two. And then the Jack 2, I realised it's only got the disc in it, it's not got the manual. I've never seen that one. I will need to search it up, but that actually does... It looks different. And I know the Jacks do self-recruit a lot. And then Skylanders... I know there is a Skylanders game that sells for quite a lot of money. And I have no idea if it's this one. But pretty much, by their sale, the games were £3 each. And I was like, in a charity shop, no one is buying them for £3 each. That's why there were so many of them. But I was like, I may as well just pick the best of the bad. Even though there was there were some decent ones. But I just didn't want to buy so many games when they're £3 each. Or 4 for a tenner. I was like, and they could be scratched and not working. So I was like, I'll just stick with these ones. Hopefully, I'll be able to get my money back anyway. Next up is probably the best find that we've probably found in this charity shop. Probably one of our best finds in a charity shop, if this is the real deal. So this is a, a Balmain Paris. I think it's a 40, size 40. So it's quite a big size, but, you know, you can get your, your suits tapered and stuff. But they're brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. And it was only... Focus, eh? Only 10 quid. £10 for a Balmain suit. Now, I did look one of these up on eBay, and one of them sold brand new with tags for £287. And this does come with the trousers as well. So it comes with the trousers and and the blazer as well, and it's only £10. Quid. Jane Lee found that, and I was like, the last time she found something, it was a St Laurent hoodie that sold, I actually sold that a month ago for like £270. Quid. I was like, holy moly, she's always finding the bargains. And then up next, we've got a nice pair of Levi's chinos. I actually just bought this pair for myself. And if it doesn't fit me, then I'll probably just sell it because I'll make my money back on it. It was only £4 and it's a size 34, even though, and it's a length 30, so that's definitely no fitting me actually. But, oh well, they'll probably get like 20 quid back for them, which is alright. And then the last item of the day, but the first pickup of the day, is this Harley Davidson uh, long sleeve t-shirt, which is also brand new with the tags as well. I'm getting pretty lucky with the new with tags, only because it's a charity shop in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but I have seen people say, if you ever see Harley Davidson to, to pick it up, because it always sells pretty well, so... I'll do my research on that, and hopefully that is true, because it was only £6.00. Brand new tags. Decent. But yeah, so for today's one charity shop that we actually went into, only one, Bernard was in South Queensbury. Hopefully this doesn't get a lot of views on this video because everyone's probably going to go there now. But all together for all of this, it was a grand total of £40. So hopefully we'll make our money back on this suit because this, if this is the real deal and it's a real Balmain suit, 
this is selling for at least under £300, that would definitely make the money back. So yeah, so I hope you liked the, the little vlog there. I also sold something the other day, I think it was the, the New Balance running shoes, so they did actually sell for £49.99. Got a full asking price for it, I woke up to it in the morning and then I was like, oh I wonder where this is going, Sweden. I was like, fair enough, £20 postage paid, I'll actually make, I think I'll actually make like £55 from the sale or something. So I'm probably like up with my profits already because it didn't cost as much to send it there. Because I usually, when it's trainers, I put like £20 postage because you never know where it's going to go. Like, but yeah, so if it was like going to the other side of the world, it would cost like £40. So that's why I tried to keep it in the middle just because sometimes I will lose out on profit and sometimes I'll make profit from the shipping. But that's went to Sweden. I shipped that off today before we went to South Queen City. And that's on its way to Sweden now. But I did have a, an offer for the, the PS, I think it was a PS4 bundle I just posted. Um, it was meant to go to Tanzania, which is, if you know where that is, it's in Africa. Oh, almost just dropped my phone. But yeah, that's in, <laughs> that's in Africa. And it's going to cost £53 to ship it there. So the person was like, oh, will you be able to ship it? I was like, yeah, it should be fine. And they've not got back to me. So that'll just be another one that'll waiting to be sold. But yeah, if you did like this little random video, then be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all later. What's happening? It's <laughs> shit. Check the fit. Whoa. £300, let me know. It's my news. Balmain, shit. Balmain. 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 Bal